Let's bring to God our prayer of adoration, for God is worthy to be praised. And let us offer to God our confession, giving to God our regrets for things said and done that we wish we could take back. Let us pray. Blessed are you, Lord God. Glorious is your name in all the earth. We celebrate who you are and all that you have done for us. You hold our lives in your hands and you catch us when we stumble. And so we come together, led by your Holy Spirit, to worship you, to sing your praise, to confess our mistakes, and to receive your love and mercy made possible through the sacrifice of your Son, Jesus Christ. God, companion and guide, we would be lost without your direction, wanderers in a wilderness of our own making. We praise you for dealing so graciously with your people in the past when you guided them to freedom and a promised new life. We are heirs of that promise fulfilled in Jesus, our Redeemer and Lord. Through him, you have established for us a permanent direction for our lives. And as we dwell in him, our lives are blessed with fruitfulness. Holy God, may this time of worship be a joyful response of praise and thanksgiving for all that you have done, for all that you're doing, and for all that you'll continue to do for us and for all people through the power of the Holy Spirit and in the name of Jesus. Be present among us as we worship you and as we open ourselves to your word. To you be all glory now and forever. Merciful God, we do not pray in order to alleviate our guilt, but to express our gratitude to you. For we know full well all the things we have said and done that we shouldn't, and all those words we could have spoken, all those actions we could have undertaken, but did not. Despite this, you love us and surround us with mercy and hope, waiting to restore us to new life. And so, merciful God, we look around and see how far we fall short in our attempts at faithfulness. We often do things not because it's what you call us to do, but in hopes of earning points with you. We can become so self-absorbed that we can't see the suffering and struggles of friends, of family, or of strangers. Sometimes we're so desperate to get to the front of the line, we push aside the very ones you seek to honour. Forgive us, Holy One. Remind us that the cup we are offered overflows with grace that the waters of baptism cleanse and make us new, and that Jesus Christ, our Lord and Saviour, is the one who calls us to service, standing by our side as we seek to be faithful disciples. In quiet prayer, we offer up to you all our regrets, giving thanks that you take these, our burdens, away. Beloved of God, remember and take to heart this. The one who poured the foundations of creation fills us with grace and hope. The one who numbered the cloud tips over rain barrels of living water into our parched souls. The one who writes anthems for the early morning stars fills us with songs of joy. The one who provides food for all living things feeds us with mercies which come fresh and new each day. So we can say, thanks be to God, for we are forgiven. And as God's people, we pray the prayer that Jesus taught his friends and which unites us all, praying, 
Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory for ever. Amen. <laughs> 